Do you miss your old life when there was actual life? Do you also cry remembering those times when there were no restrictions? We were free to go wherever we want. We were close with our friends and family. Life was not black and white as it is now. The first patient of COVID-19 was reported on the 1st of December in 2019. Since that day, COVID-19 has been spreading and dominating the whole world. This tiny virus that is measured in nanometers has been getting on the nerve of the entire world. The people have been cursing it ever since it has started spreading out. But salute to the hardworking scientists that we are now able to protect ourselves from this deadly virus. Yes, the vaccine of COVID-19 has been made and successfully the clinical trials have been completed. Recently, there has been a lot of talk about the two vaccines, AstraZeneca and Pfizer. Now the question is what they are and are they really reliable? Let's first talk about AstraZeneca. The Sweden-based pharmaceutical and biotechnological company founded in 1999, AstraZeneca, has been making its mark in the world for years. The company has been contributing toward making advancements in the medical sector. Their successful medicinal products for various diseases like cardiovascular, gastrointestinal and respiratory, etc. The company is accountable for major contributions in the areas of neuroscience, infection and oncology and so on. This time, also the company did not disappoint us and gave us a vaccine of this fatal COVID-19. What is the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine? Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is the vaccine made to fight the spreading of the fatal infections caused by the coronavirus. How Oxford's AstraZeneca vaccine is made. Adenoviruses are a group of viruses that cause common cold in humans. Symptoms of the common cold are very much like the infection caused by the COVID-19 viruses. A patient with the common cold and another patient with a coronavirus infection both experience fever, sore throat, diarrhea, coughs and flu, etc. So the scientists used the weakened version of this common cold causing virus to make the AstraZeneca vaccine. This weakened version of the adenovirus was extracted from a chimpanzee that was infected by the adenovirus on purpose in the laboratory. Scientists made some amendments in this weakened version of an adenovirus to make it look like the COVID-19 virus. Since this virus is recast, it cannot cause any infection or illness, but it can help our body's natural immune system to fight the real virus if it enters the body. How does the vaccine work? This Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, just like other vaccines, reduces the risk of getting a fatal viral infection of COVID-19. It works in accordance with the body's natural immune system to prevent deadly infection caused by COVID-19. Spike protein is the basis of this vaccine, but what is the spike protein? The S protein is a viral glycoprotein. To enter into a host cell, the virus must acquire access to cross the barrier of the cell membrane. The outer layer of the virus is also made up of some proteins. The cell membrane of the virus and the cell membrane of the host fuse together, which allows the virus to take over the host cell. Here on screen, you can see what a spike protein looks like. Let's see how the AstraZeneca vaccine prevents the illness. Step 1. Scientists extract the spike protein from the COVID-19 virus and put this protein into the weakened version of another virus. Now the vaccine is made and it is injected into the patient's body. Step 2. As soon as the vaccine enters into the patient's body cells, it quickly starts making out the spike proteins. This activity stimulates the body's immune system. The body's immune systems start to make antibodies against the spike proteins. It activates the T-cells and together with T-cells, antibodies destroy the cells with the spike protein. Step 3. Now the person's body is immune to the virus. If the real virus enters the body of the vaccinated person, there are already antibodies available that activate the T-cells and they will again destroy the real virus. In this way, the risk of getting an infection is reduced after taking the vaccine. Is AstraZeneca vaccine safe to use? More than 16 European countries, including Sweden, Latvia, Germany, France, Italy, Austria, Thailand, Denmark, Norway and Spain, etc., have temporarily suspended the use of the AstraZeneca vaccine because, in their opinion, this vaccine might trigger some disturbance in the body. There are several people who received the AstraZeneca vaccine and now some of them are dealing with some serious blood clotting. According to recent studies, there is no scientifically proven evidence that this AstraZeneca AstraZeneca vaccine is anyhow correlated with blood clotting factors. The World Health Organization and International Society on Thrombosis and Hemostasis have recommended that the 
Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is safe and should be used by all of the countries. The vaccine is easy to use, as unlike Pfizer, which needs a specific temperature for its maintenance, Oxford AstraZeneca can be stored at room temperature. Further investigations and studies are going on regarding the concern of the AstraZeneca vaccine. We are all waiting for the moment of truth whether the blood clots are the result of AstraZeneca or not. Who can take AstraZeneca vaccine? Clinical trials are still going on and recent reports have shown that Oxford AstraZeneca is 70% effective in defending against the virus. Adults of 18 or above are subjected to take shots of the AstraZeneca vaccine. However, the vaccine is not recommended for people of 65 or above age. Pfizer Pfizer is an American pharmaceutical company and it is ranked among the world's biggest pharmaceutical corporations. Pfizer, in collaboration with German biotechnological company BioNTech, has produced a vaccine to fight COVID-19, which has proved to be a big success so far. How is Pfizer BioNTech vaccine made? The German company BioNTech made the vaccine and collaborated with American pharmaceutical company Pfizer for clinical trials and manufacturing purposes. Pfizer BioNTech is a messenger RNA-based vaccine. mRNA is a special structure inside of our cells that work by synthesizing required proteins. The SARS-CoV-2 virus enters the cell due to spike protein as we stated earlier. The Pfizer is based upon the genetic instructions of the coronavirus. The mRNA-based vaccine is layered with lipid nanoparticles in the form of oily bubbles, as the mRNA is fragile and can be subjected to destruction by the body's enzymes. How does Pfizer BioNTech vaccine work? Once the vaccine is injected into the body, it starts to fuse with the body's cells. After the fusion, the mRNA is released. Since these are based upon the virus's genetic instructions, the engineered mRNA starts building spike proteins according to its sequence. Now these spike proteins are genetically engineered. These immunogenic spike proteins cause the body's cell to form antibodies against it. These antibodies then destroy the cell with spike proteins and hence when a real virus enters the body, the body is already prepared to fight it. In this way, a person's body gets immune from the virus and he is protected from contracting the infection. Who should get this vaccine? This is a two-dose vaccine for people aged 16 or above. Pregnant women and children under the age of 16 are not allowed to get this vaccine as clinical trials are still going on for them. Since it is a two-dose vaccine, the gap between two shots is about 19 to 42 days. Is Pfizer vaccine safe to use? The data from clinical trials reported no serious side effects of this vaccine. The only side effects that were monitored are headache and mild fatigue after the second dose of the vaccine shot. Out of the total people who got the Pfizer vaccine, only 4% reported fatigue and about 2% complained of a headache. After taking the vaccine, a person might suffer from muscle pain at the injection site, but these are just common reactions your experience with every other vaccine. This vaccine has proved 95% efficacy, which is a pretty healthy number, according to the World Health Organization. Organization. Even at the age of 85 or above, the vaccine has shown 94% efficacy. Which vaccine should you get? Vaccines are of course our biggest weapon in fighting this COVID-19 war. There is no specific evidence that which vaccine is more effective. Both the vaccines are developed by senior doctors and scientists. Both vaccines have successfully passed the clinical trials. We are working closely with international counterparts in understanding the global safety experience of COVID-19 vaccines and on the rapid sharing of safety data and reports. People should still go and get their COVID-19 vaccine when asked to do so, said Dr. Phil Bryan of the UK's Medicine and Health Products Products regulatory agency. This brings us to the end of the video. Vaccines are really important for all adults to get for reducing the spread of COVID-19. Go and get your vaccines as recommended by your state and leave the rest for the medical professionals. Our doctors are taking care of everything. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for the latest updates. Take care.